Hi, everybody. It's great to be here with you today. I want to share some thoughts on a topic that's often overlooked, but immensely powerful in shaping our lives. Just like the body can fall ill, so too can our attitudes impacting every aspect of our existence. It's a fascinating yet often neglected area of personal development. You see, each of us carries within us the power to shape our destiny. This power doesn't lie in our circumstances, nor does it rest in the hands of fate. It resides in something much more personal and intimate, our attitude. Our attitude acts like the lens through which we view the world. It can color our experiences, change our interactions, and ultimately dictate the course of our lives. But here's the catch. Not all attitudes are beneficial. Some, in fact, are downright harmful. These harmful attitudes, which I like to call the diseases of attitude, are subtle. They don't announce themselves with fanfare. Instead, they creep into our mindset quietly, often going unnoticed until their effects are deeply felt. They're like silent saboteurs, undermining our potential, damaging our relationships, and hindering our success. Imagine walking through a beautiful garden, but instead of admiring the flowers, you're fixated on the weeds. That's what negative attitudes do. They distract us from the beauty and potential around us, focusing our attention on the negatives. Pessimism, for instance, paints the world in shades of gray, robbing us of the ability to see the vibrant colors of opportunity and joy. Complacency, another such disease, lulls us into a false sense of security, whispering that mediocrity is enough and stifling our drive to reach for more. And then there's entitlement, a particularly insidious attitude which convinces us that the world owes us something, breeding dissatisfaction and ungratefulness. These attitudes are more than just passing moods. They're deep-seated mindsets that can shape our actions and reactions, often without our conscious awareness. It's crucial to recognize these diseases for what they are, barriers to our growth and happiness. The first step in overcoming any challenge is awareness, and the same goes for transforming our attitudes. By acknowledging the power of our attitudes and the impact they have on our lives, we are. So, as we embark on this journey together today, let's explore these diseases of attitude. Let's understand how they manifest, how they affect us, and most importantly, how we can overcome them. It's a journey of self-discovery and transformation, one that holds the promise of a richer, more fulfilling life. And it all begins with a simple, yet profound realizance. The key to unlocking our potential and embracing the fullness of life lies not in external factors, but within us in the attitudes we choose to nurture. As we delve into understanding these diseases of attitude, Let's consider their true nature and impact. These aren't just fleeting thoughts or temporary moods. They are deep-seated patterns of thinking and reacting that can shape the very course of our lives. They're like invisible threads weaving through our daily experiences, often unrecognized, yet significantly influencing the tapestry of our lives. The first of these diseases is pessimism. Pessimism is like a dark cloud that blocks the sunlight of optimism. It's a way of looking at the world where challenges are magnified and opportunities are minimized. When we look through the lens of pessimism, every setback is a disaster, every obstacle is insurmountable, and every day carries a forecast of doom and gloom. It's a mindset that can drain the color from life, leaving everything in shades of gray. The danger of pessimism is not just in the way it makes us feel, but in how it shapes our It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. 
If we expect the worst, we're unlikely to put in the effort required to achieve the best. On the other side, we have complacency. Complacency whispers in our ear that good enough is good enough. It convinces us to settle, to stop striving, to rest on our laurels. This attitude might seem harmless, but it's anything but. Complacency is the thief of ambition, the eraser of dreams. It's a comfortable couch where potential goes to take a long nap. When we're complacent, we stop growing, stop learning, and stop challenging ourselves. Life becomes a static routine, devoid of the excitement and fulfillment that comes from pursuing goals and overcoming challenges. Then there's the attitude of entitlement. Entitlement is a tricky one. It dresses itself up as confidence, as a belief in our worth. But beneath that disguise is a mindset that believes the world owes us something. Success, happiness, recognition. Without the corresponding commitment to earn these rewards, entitlement breeds resentment, frustration, and an endless cycle of dissatisfaction. It's a hungry ghost, always craving more, never satisfied with what it is. The problem with entitlement is that it distances us from gratitude, from the joy of achievement, and from the satisfaction of earning our rewards through effort and perseverance. Another disease we often encounter is envy. Envy looks at what others have and says, why them and not me? It's a corrosive attitude eating away at our ability to appreciate our own blessings and achievements. Envy turns allies into competitors, friends into rivals. It keeps our eyes fixed on what others have, blinding us to our own opportunities and possibilities. Instead of being inspired by the success of others, envy traps us in a cycle of bitterness and dissatisfaction. Let's not forget about doubt, self-doubt to be precise. This is an insidious one. It creeps into our minds whispering that we're not good enough, smart enough, talented enough. Self-doubt is the chain that holds us back from taking risks, from stepping out of our comfort zones, from trying new things. It's the voice that says you can't, even before we've given ourselves a chance to say, maybe I can. It's a paralyzing force, one that can prevent us from realizing our full potential. Now, it's important to recognize that these diseases of attitude are not permanent conditions. They are not inherent parts of who we are. They are, instead, habits of thought. And habits can be changed. The power to transform our attitudes lies within us. It starts with awareness, with recognizing these destructive patterns for what they are. Once we see them, we can start the work of changing them. Changing our attitudes is not an overnight process. It requires effort, persistence, and a commitment to personal growth. But the rewards of this transformation are immeasurable. Imagine replacing pessimism with optimism, complacency with ambition, entitlement with gratitude, envy with inspiration, and doubt with confidence. The impact on our lives would be profound. We would see the world with new eyes, approach challenges with renewed vigor, and embrace opportunities with open arms. Let's keep in mind that the journey of changing our attitudes is a personal one. It's a path we walk ourselves, but that doesn't mean we walk it alone. We can learn from others, draw inspiration from their stories, and find support in their wisdom. And remember, the goal is not to be perfect. The goal is to be better, to continuously improve, to grow, and to evolve into the best versions of ourselves. So, let's embark on this journey together. Let's explore how we can overcome these diseases of attitude and embrace a mindset that leads to growth fulfillment, and success. Remember, the quality of our lives is determined not just by what happens to us, but by how we choose to respond. In the end, our attitudes are the architects of our destinies. Let's build something magnificent. Now, let's turn our attention to understanding the profound impact 
these negative attitudes have on our lives. It's like walking through life with a heavy backpack filled with rocks, each rock representing a negative attitude. These attitudes weigh us down, making every step harder and every journey longer. Consider the effects of pessimism. It's not just a cloud over our heads. It's like a filter that distorts reality. A pessimist sees challenges as threats, not at opportunities. In relationships, this attitude can create a barrier of mistrust and negativity. In the workplace, it can lead to a defeatist culture where innovation and progress are stifled. Pessimism can turn potential victories into certain defeats simply because we never give ourselves the chance to succeed. Complacency, on the other hand, keeps us locked in the status quo. It's like sitting in a boat, drifting aimlessly with the current. There's no forward movement, no progress. In a world that's constantly changing and evolving, staying still is the same as moving backward. Complacency in our personal lives can lead to missed opportunities for growth and learning. Professionally, it can result in stagnation as we watch others move forward and seize the opportunities that we let pass by. Entitlement can be just as damaging. When we feel the world owes us something, we stop putting in the effort to earn it. This attitude can lead to a life of constant disappointment and resentment. In relationships, it can create a sense of unfulfilled expectations where no matter what others do, it's never enough. In our careers, it can prevent us from taking the initiative as we wait for rewards and recognition that we haven't earned. Envy is another heavy rock in our backpack. It's easy to look at others and feel resentful for what they have, but envy blinds us to our own potential and abilities. It's a distraction that keeps us focused on others rather than on improving ourselves. In personal relationships, envy can erode the bond of friendship and trust, replacing it with bitterness and competition. In our professional lives, it can prevent us from collaborating and learning from others as we're too busy comparing ourselves to them. Then there's the weight of self-doubt. This is perhaps the heaviest rock of all. Self-doubt holds us back from trying new things, from taking risks, from stepping into the unknown. It whispers in our ear that we're not good enough, not smart enough, not capable enough. This attitude can close doors before we even knock on them. It can prevent us from reaching out for new opportunities, from believing in our abilities, and from achieving our full potential. The cumulative effect of these negative attitudes is staggering. They can shape our reality, dictate our actions, and ultimately determine the course of our lives. But it's important to remember that these attitudes are not fixed. They're not inherent parts of who we are. They are choices, habits of thought that we've developed over time. And just as they were learned, they can be unlearned. Changing these attitudes requires effort and persistence. It's like gradually removing the rocks from our backpack, lightening the load, and making our journey through life easier and more enjoyable. The first step is awareness, recognizing these attitudes and their impact. The next step is action, actively working to change these attitudes to replace them with positive, life-affirming ones. Let's explore how we can transform these negative attitudes into positive ones. Let's discover how we can replace pessimism with optimism, complacency with ambition, entitlement with gratitude, envy with inspiration, and self It's a journey towards a lighter, more fulfilling life. And it's a journey that starts with a single step, the decision to change. So let's take that step together. Let's embark on a path of personal growth and transformation, shedding the weight of negative attitudes and embracing a mindset that opens doors, builds bridges, and lights the way to a brighter future. Remember, our attitudes are the paints with which we color our world. Let's choose vibrant, positive colors to create a masterpiece of our life. In this journey of self-discovery and growth, 
It's vital to understand the stark contrast between positive and negative attitudes. It's like comparing night and day or shadow and sunlight. Each attitude we adopt casts a significant influence over our lives, shaping our experiences, relationships, and even our achievements. Let's take a moment to explore this contrast. On one side, we have negative attitudes, pessimism, complacency, entitlement, envy, and self-doubt. These are the attitudes that close doors, create barriers, and often lead to a life of unfulfilled potential and regrets. Pessimism, for instance, turns opportunities into threats, joy into fear. Complacency makes us spectators in our own lives, watching as the world moves forward without us. Entitlement breeds a constant sense of dissatisfaction as nothing ever feels enough. Envy fills us with bitterness, robbing us of the ability to appreciate and celebrate the success of others. And self-doubt, that insidious whisperer, convinces us that we're not capable, not worthy, not enough. Now let's turn our gaze to the other side, to positive attitudes. Here we find optimism, ambition, gratitude, inspiration. These are the attitudes that open doors, build bridges, and lead to a life of fulfillment and achievement. Optimism allows us to see the possibilities in every challenge, the potential in every setback. It's the fuel that powers perseverance and resilience. Ambition propels us forward, igniting our passion to achieve and to grow. It's the driving force behind every quest for improvement and success. Gratitude fills our lives with a sense of abundance, helping us to see and appreciate the value in everything we have and experience. It fosters contentment and peace, inspiration, drawn from the achievements and qualities of others, motivates us to strive for our own goals, to reach higher and push further. And confidence, that deep-rooted belief in our own abilities, empowers us to take risks to step into the unknown and to realize our dream. The contrast between these sets of attitudes is clear and profound. Negative attitudes trap us in a cycle of limitation and dissatisfaction. They're like anchors holding us back from exploring the vast ocean of potential that life offers. Positive attitudes, on the other hand, are like sails catching the wind propelling us forward, guiding us towards new horizons of opportunity and success. This contrast is not just theoretical, it's practical and applicable in every aspect of our lives. In our personal relationships, positive attitudes help us build stronger, more meaningful connections. They enable us to communicate better, to empathize more deeply, and to support each other more effectively. In our professional lives, these attitudes foster a culture of growth, innovation, and collaboration. They lead to better problem solving, higher productivity, and greater job satisfaction. The beauty of this contrast lies in the choice it presents. Every day, we have the power to choose our attitude. We can choose to view the world through the lens of negativity, or we can choose the lens of positivity. This choice is ours, and it's a choice that we make not just once, but continuously, every moment of every day. Let's be mindful of the attitudes we choose. Let's consciously decide to adopt attitudes that uplift, empower, and inspire both ourselves and those around us. Remember, our attitudes are more than just feelings or thoughts. They are the brushes with which we paint the canvas of our lives. Let's choose to paint with bright, bold, and vibrant colors, creating a masterpiece of joy, fulfillment, and success. Exploring how we can cultivate and nurture these positive attitudes. Let's discover how we can transform our mindset, our actions, and ultimately, our lives. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that step is the choice to embrace a positive attitude. Let's take that step together 
and let's make it count. In our journey toward a life filled with joy, fulfillment and success, cultivating a healthy attitude is paramount. It's like tending to a garden. It requires care, attention, and regular nurturing. This process of cultivating a healthy attitude is not just about eliminating the negative, but more importantly, about actively fostering the positive. First and foremost, self-awareness is key. It's like standing in front of a mirror not to criticize or judge, but to observe and understand. Self-awareness allows us to recognize our habitual thought patterns, understand our emotional triggers, and identify areas where our attitude may be holding us back. It's the first step towards change because you can't change what you don't acknowledge. Next is the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is the sunlight that nourishes our garden of positivity. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. This shift isn't just about feeling better. It's about creating a mindset that sees and appreciates the abundance of life. Start simple. Each day, take a moment to reflect on something you're grateful for. It could be as profound as the love of family or as simple as a cup of coffee in the morning. What matters is that you're training your mind to recognize and savor the good. Another crucial aspect is the cultivation of optimism. Optimism isn't about ignoring life's difficulties. It's about maintaining a belief in a positive outcome. It's about seeing the glass as half full, not to dismiss the empty part, but to make the most of the water that's there. To cultivate optimism, challenge your negative thoughts. When you catch yourself expecting the worst, pause and ask, what's another way to look at this situation? Often you'll find that a more positive perspective is not only possible, but also more accurate. Then there's the development of resilience. Life as we know is not always smooth sailing. Resilience is the life jacket that keeps us afloat during the storms. It's developed through experience, through facing challenges and learning from them rather than avoiding them. Each time you overcome a difficulty, you're not just solving a problem. You're building resilience. You're teaching yourself that you're capable, strong, and adaptable. A crucial part of cultivating a healthy attitude is nurturing positive relationships. The people we surround ourselves with can significantly influence our outlook on. Seek out and nurture relationships with those who uplift and support you. Spend time with people who inspire you, who challenge you in healthy ways, and who make you feel valued and appreciated. Let's not forget the power of setting goals and taking action. A healthy attitude is not just a state of mind. It's also reflected in our actions. Goals give us direction and purpose. They turn our positive attitudes into tangible outcomes. But remember, the goal is not just to achieve, but to enjoy the journey. Celebrate your progress, learn from your setbacks, and always keep moving forward. Practice kindness and compassion, both towards others and yourself. Kindness reinforces a positive attitude by connecting us with the joy and satisfaction of helping others. Compassion, especially self-compassion, is like a soothing balm for the soul. It helps us to be gentle with ourselves, to recognize that we are all works in progress, doing the best we can with what we have. Cultivating a healthy attitude is a journey, not a destination. It's a continuous process of growth, learning, and self-discovery. As we move forward, let's remember that every step we take in nurturing our attitudes, no matter how small, is a step towards a richer, more fulfilling life. So let's take these steps with intention, with courage, and with an open heart. Let's create a life that reflects the beauty of our attitudes, a life that shines bright with positivity, purpose, and joy. As we journey through life, striving to cultivate a healthy attitude, we inevitably encounter barriers. 
These are the hurdles that challenge our resolve, test our strength, and sometimes make us question our path. Overcoming these attitudinal barriers is not just about moving past them. It's about growing stronger through the process. One common barrier is the fear of failure. This fear can be paralyzing, whispering in our ears that it's better not to try than to risk falling short. But here's a different perspective. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of it. Every setback, every misstep is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to come back stronger. Embrace failure as a teacher, not as a judge. When fear of failure looms, ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Often you'll find that the potential for growth far outweighs the risk of failure. Another significant barrier is the trap of comparison. In a world amplified by social media, it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reel. This comparison can be disheartening, making us feel inadequate and discouraged. The key to overcoming this barrier is to focus on your own journey. Your path is unique. It's not meant to be a replica of someone else's. Celebrate your progress no matter how small and remember that true success is personal and internal, not a race against others. Resistance to change is also a common hurdle. We are creatures of habit, often finding comfort in the familiar, even if it's not serving us well. Overcoming this barrier requires a willingness to step out of our comfort zones. It's about embracing change as an adventure, a chance to experience something new and enriching. When faced with change, try to focus on the possibilities it brings rather than the uncertainties. Procrastination is another barrier that often stands in our way. It's the voice that says, you can do it tomorrow. But as we all know, tomorrow never seems to come. Overcoming procrastination is about understanding the value of now. It's about breaking tasks into smaller, manageable steps and celebrating each accomplishment along the way. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today, not tomorrow. Self-doubt, too, can be a formidable barrier. It undermines our confidence and belittles our achievements. The antidote to self-doubt is self-belief, and this belief is nurtured through action. Each time you face a challenge and come through it, you build a little more belief in yourself. Surround yourself with positive influences. People who believe in you, even when you struggle to believe in yourself. Let's talk about overcoming the barrier of past experiences. Our past can be a valuable teacher, but it can also hold us captive, preventing us from moving forward. It's important to learn from the past, but not to live in it. Acknowledge your history, but don't let it define your future. Every day is a new opportunity to write a different story. In overcoming these barriers, remember that the journey is as important as the destiny. Each barrier we overcome is a step towards greater resilience, deeper understanding, and a more fulfilling life. Embrace these challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities to grow and to prove to yourself just how capable you truly are. As we continue on this path, let's do so with courage, determination, and a steadfast belief in our ability to overcome any barrier that stands in our way. Let's move forward with the knowledge that every barrier overcome is another victory on our journey another reason to be proud, another step towards a life of positivity, purpose, and joy. Let's keep moving forward, breaking down barriers and building up our dreams. The road may be long, but the journey is worth every step. As we navigate through the challenges of reshaping our attitudes and overcoming barriers, it's inspiring to turn our gaze towards those who have triumphed in this journey. Real life success stories are not just tales of achievement. They are beacons of hope 
and exemplars of resilience and determination. Consider the story of a young woman named Sarah. Growing up in a small town, she faced the challenge of limited opportunities. But instead of succumbing to the pessimism that often plagued her community, Sarah chose optimism. She saw her small town not as a limitation, but as a launching pad. With this positive attitude, she pursued her education with vigor and passion, eventually earning a scholarship to a prestigious university. Sarah's journey wasn't easy. It was littered with obstacles and naysayers. Yet her optimism, her unwavering belief in the possibility of a brighter future propelled her forward. Today, Sarah is not only the first in her family to graduate from college, but also a successful entrepreneur using her success to inspire and uplift others in her hometown. Then there's the story of Michael, a young man who battled with self-doubt, plagued by a belief that he was not good enough. He shied away from opportunities and challenges. But Michael's story took a turn when he decided to confront his self-doubt head on. He started with small steps, volunteering for tasks he would normally avoid and gradually move to larger challenges. With each step, his self-doubt diminished and his confidence grew. Michael's journey led him to a successful career in public speaking, a field he once thought was beyond his reach. He transformed his greatest barrier into his greatest strength. Let's also reflect on the story of Emma, a middle-aged woman who found herself stuck in the grip of comparison. Constantly measuring her life against others, she felt a persistent sense of inadequacy. But a moment of realization dawned upon her. Her life was her own unique journey, not a race against others. Embracing this insight, Emma shifted her focus inward, celebrating her own achievements, no matter how small. This change in attitude led to a newfound sense of contentment and joy. Emma went on to start a community group focused on personal growth and self-acceptance, helping others to break free from the shackles of comparison. These stories and countless others are testaments to the transformative power of a positive attitude. They remind us that, regardless of where we start, the attitudes we cultivate can lead us to places we never imagined. They show us that our greatest challenges can become our greatest triumphs, and that every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory in its own right. As we draw inspiration from these stories, Let's remember that each of us has our own story to write. We have the power to shape our narrative, to overcome our barriers, and to achieve our own version of success. Let's take these stories as a source of motivation and a reminder of what's possible when we approach life with a healthy, positive attitude. Our stories are still being written, and with each day, we have the opportunity to add a new, inspiring chapter. Let's make our stories ones of triumph, resilience, and endless possibility. As we come to the close of our time together, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon. We've explored the landscapes of our, our attitudes, understanding how they shape our lives for better or worse. We've recognized the diseases of attitude that can hold us back and learn how to cultivate a garden of positive mindsets to propel us forward. Remember the power to change our attitudes and in turn, our lives lies within each of us. It's a power that's not dependent on our circumstances, our past or the opinions of others. It's a choice, a decision that we make each day in every moment. The decision to choose optimism over pessimism, ambition over complacency, gratitude over entitlement, inspiration over envy, and confidence over self-doubt. The stories we've shared today, the lessons we've learned are more than just words. They are a call to action an invitation to embark on the most rewarding journey of all due 
the journey of self-improvement and personal growth. As we move forward, let's carry these lessons with us, not just as distant memories, but as living principles that guide our actions and decisions. Let's strive to be architects of our own destinies, painters of our own masterpieces, authors of our own stories. Let's approach each day with a sense of purpose, a sense of joy, and a sense of possibility. The path ahead is ours to shape, filled with endless potential and boundless opportunities. So, in conclusion, Let's not just dream of a better life. Let's create it. Let's take the lessons we've learned, the inspiration we've gained, and the determination we've fostered, and use them to build a life of joy, fulfillment, and success. The future is not just something that happens to us. It's something we create. And it all starts with our attitude. Here's to our journey to the wonderful destinations we'll reach, and to the incredible stories we'll ride along the way. Thank you for being a part of this journey, and remember, the best is yet to come.